Okay, I, I like how you're going about this, but we have two fair ladies sitting on right. the other <laughs> side of the table. Okay. And we the natural black brown skin. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, I'm about to go there. Okay, what's I'm it? I'm about to go there. Okay. Um, have you ever used any skin lightening products in your Never. life or Never. Okay, so I have a skin that anything I use actually works on my body. Like I have this very tender skin. I I, I didn't bleach. I'm airway. We have a natural. Do you understand? Oh we are God. like the albinos. Like we are the albinos, <laughs> right? Yes. So sometimes if you use, I don't use something harsh. I don't think I want to do advert for any cream. But then Jaggins is very big. Mm. I use Jaggins shea butter. Mm. But then it doesn't. This the shea butter one. It doesn't lighten me up the way I've been. That's the way I am. Mm. Yeah, but sometimes if I go like if I go to the, if I go to Europe and I come back and then the weather changes, mm. it affects my skin. So I just get something like um, castor oil mm -hmm. to tone it down and everything. So no I, lightning or bleaching nah. or whatever. Nope. Me. Never Don't punch me. Don't punch me. She is a white lady. <laughs> huh? The white lady. I'm mixed race. You're a mixed race. I'm mixed race. Half cast. And honestly, I was a bit darker when it I was younger. It could be Sudanese and And Indian. as I've grown <laughs> up, <laughs> as I've gotten older, I've Ooh. lost color. Seriously. And it's not about living Ghana, it's living Canada. Normal. It's stress. It's, it's life. It's, it's, a life. It's, it's a life stress. It's darker since I moved here. I was lighter. As a sun. As a sun. And I love it. I want to be darker. I always said when I was a kid, I'm going to marry a very, very black man so I have dark babies. I don't want my babies to be light because the things I experience, blah, blah, blah. I always used to say that. But and I, I wish I was darker. I want to be in the sun. I want to be darker. You, you hit me like this, the thing turns red. What is that? <laughs> 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 Actually, I was... I, got you know, I, th I thought you were going to tell her something personal. Right, seriously. <laughs> I, I, I'm, never, not too sure, I'm not too sure if it's... It's uh, the men's fault that women are bleaching. Yes. It's, it's the women's fault. Because a lot of guys, eh, they love light skin. Girls. Hey, Obroni Melissa. <laughs> yes. I mean, I don't them. Song. Yeah. It's like the, they, say, uh, they say something in tree. Oba Koko. Uh, if, if the light goes off, you can still see. Yeah, you can her. still see a fair lady on the bed. It's true. Oh, that that, it. That's what I heard. So I don't know if it's a mentality. No, I, but I don't think it's, it's a mentality. A mental disease. Thank you. It's <laughs> a mental disease. First of all, it starts with this idea that having lighter skin somehow makes you beautiful. Is more, yeah, it's better. It's more beautiful. It's privilege. And then bleach, first of all, men, have you seen oh, men? Yeah, men? I know evil so men so many men that bleach. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So for me, when it comes to bleaching, I feel like, first of all, it's something internal. It's something that has told you that the way you are is not better enough. for you if you were a little lighter. And the thing is, you can tell somebody who has natural, lighter skin than somebody who bleaches. They have right. this gray not ash. Not number one. Gray it's ash? Gray. The skin, they said there's some gray. What is number yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. And the knuckles. I know, right? Right, right. The knuckles, and then when you stop bleaching, you get a no, 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 that, right. that, 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 <laughs> that happens when you use very harsh, harsh creams. Yeah. Skin. But that's what a lot of people, I have a friend who's a professor who's, who she's gone in, done research on this. She went into Jamestown because apparently Jamestown is a, is a part where there's a, a lot of bleaching happening, especially the men. And oh, the men, yeah. Oh, so Paste like the wow. craziest toothpaste. Yes. Yes. Oh, they, they use the oil, the red oil and everything. Um, powdered yes. soap. Yes. Powdered soap. So besides the fact <laughs> that for me aesthetically, it doesn't even look yeah, nice. I don't think like it usually, it you looked a thousand times better with your original skin tone. Yeah, right. Just health. First of all, that means you're peeling your melanin. The sun is hitting you. You get and cancer. Right. Blame, blame the witches in your the family. Truth. No. Yeah. <laughs> the in your family. It's what you're doing to your skin. So bleaching, I mean, it's a disease, really. Not just in Ghana. I think, I think so. a lot of people are in Brazil, a lot India, Jamaica, Jamaica. Yes, yeah, everybody. Time. Rihanna yeah. making my sorry. Rihanna. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Rihanna is yeah, blue. Yeah, she used to be darker. It's true. Wow. She, she used to be brown. No. No. She used to be brown, brown skin Rihanna, girl. No, no. She used to be brown skin girl. <laughs> let's, 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 let's no, but I don't think she's blue. I think it's the weather. Money is making her yeah, whiter. Just lighting. People in the limelight. Like, I saw a picture of 
picture of you today. You showed me a picture of you today. And you're so much lighter. And I know it's the lighting. It could be oh, the yeah, 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 yeah. So many so things. Yeah, I look, I look light in all my pictures. Okay. Like, look at my pictures. It, you addicted them. Is that, is that, is that, no. Is that a How? Is I it? stand by you and take a picture and I look better than you. Oh, my goodness. Is that a compliment that you look no, lighter in all your pictures? No, I'm but actually, actually embarrassed. You know, sometimes when we say these things, we don't yeah, even yeah, realize yeah. what we're saying, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Somebody yeah. said to me recently. Somebody said to me recently. You're so beautiful. Listen, if you were light skin, you would kill that man. man. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? And she was dark skin too. And I was like, oh. Six, do you, you don't even see what you're saying. Like, that means I could be beautiful as long as I'm dark skin. I'm yeah, one day. level. But no when you're fair, fair, you'll be, yeah. you'll be booked. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, you'll kill them. You're already killing them. Imagine. I know. In it's my crazy. whole life, okay. it's just been one guy I met who said he does not like fair women. Right. Like one few of them. Dark, dark girl. Dark skin girl. Mm. Not brown. Mm. Not yeah. me. Me. I'm, I'm fair. Mm. You're fair. You're fair. Ebony so black. That means black. Okay, Ebony. Okay. That kind of skin. Yeah. Black brown. Mm. Mm. That's how they want it to be. Mm. But mm -hmm. why is it that 99% of the men always compliment fair people? Fair ladies. Society also, I social media, all that I think it's that. a mental disease, like what she said. It's, 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 it's I wish it was dark anyways. It's, it's, I also think it's like this idea that being lighter somehow has more privilege. So as a man, especially you know how they say successful men always are married to white, white women or lighter skin women because the closer you are, then it's like mm. you made it, you know. What? Like the mentality. If, if you came out of Jamestown and you made it, and you're a soccer player, and your wife is the tall and like, look at lighter, me. lighter, lighter and sweet. You know, which is is crazy. It's, it's crazy. It's really crazy. Crazy to me. It's really interesting. It's mad. It but is kind of mad. Like, I even recently I had a. <laughs> My my man said to me, you know what you're the problem what you're doing to me? You're making my family and everybody think that we're that I'm rich. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, me already on my own, they think I'm okay. But then you hear you come along, tagging beside me, and they're like, Hey, look at you with a white girl. So this one dear, you people must have money. And I'm like, what are you talking about? It's the way you look. And just physically, the way you look you're so like, I'm like, they were so oh he has made it and this one she has money, so that's it, they're rich. I'm like, wow, because I don't of the even color and the way we are struggling. You don't mm. even see it like that. Yeah, because of what I look like. Mm. I mean, the terms is like we've moved away from bleaching to skin tone, but it kind of it kind of all connects. Mm. But I just thought of something like maybe it's just something being exotic in your space because you know how when you go to like Europe or Italy, like being a black woman, being dark skin it's a, is the like, swag. It's like so maybe it's a swag. We're in a space where most people are dark. When we see something different from us, it's like oh, you know, like you know, special. something like Hollywood yeah. will all come for a a, a skin like there's all my skin right. for a movie in Hollywood, they'll right. go for something very, very black. Different, right. Look at Lupita. Yeah. She's doing so well because yeah. she's black. I mean, she's talented. She's oh, talented, well, but because she, she's, she, she's, she's, she's right. black. Right. Yes. Well, but if, in I her mean, case, I wouldn't say it's because of her skin color. Yeah, she's there are so many but people I, that in Hollywood. She, does, she doesn't even speak, I mean, with that accent, the African so she speaks like American? She's no, she grew up. No. Where did she grow up? There's, she has so, she doesn't have she a she No, she has no, she has an accent. Mm -hmm. She has a country mm -hmm. accent, not American no, accent. No, she, she, she doesn't have an African accent. No, you know what? You're, saying, you're saying that her I'm, her I'm trying to say that you you are saying something like if they should come to Africa to try and They'll not go for a cast or whatever. Like like they my skin. No, hair. because they have this original, even better, proper lighted. But, but you know why <laughs> This proper look at this is a mess, right? Look at how she's but looking. You, know you think they'll come for me? Why would they come? <laughs> you know what is very sad from somebody who has gone from the west and come to move to Africa? When I was there, do you Black know, was I've beautiful. been called a nigger. What's the meaning yeah. of that? Look at that, you see? A nigger. What is the meaning of that? Like a, a dirty black person, a monkey. <laughs> Okay. Insult. Okay. It's an I, insult. Okay. Cool. Nigga. That you know why you said what's the meaning of that? Because he's not a my nigga. My nigga is cool. It's because cool. we're all black, but there it's racist. It's, funny. it's <laughs> an insult. Yeah. But I came home. Even your color. Home, even your, your color. I'm being looked at like you're now. You're, you're different. Wait, wait, wait. Like, where do I fit in? Over there, I was a nigger. And over here, I'm obroni, mean white or different. So, so like, where even, do I fit in? Even your color, they're calling you monkey. But I am black. 
Well, let me tell you. Let, let, let me tell you a story. A I was in the elevator in Dubai, right? Then I was with this white kid. When they saw me, they were like, "Mommy, mommy, mommy, is that black monkey? Is that black monkey?" <laughs> Seriously, what? here we like, don't realize racism like, here, you know. Do oh you, my goodness! Have experienced it before? Yeah. Um, do we really experience racism here? Mm, I mean, no, 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 no. We no. never experienced, had first-hand experience with somebody judging me for my skin tone or where I'm from, except when I was in South Africa. That was mm. the only time, and that's because you know, so West Africans, yeah. So I've never had that first ex first hand experience, but I mean, I think it depends on where you are. Like when mm. I when I went to the states, when I moved to the states, is when I knew that I was dark skinned. Mm. When you, you know? were there, yeah, because right. right. people in Ghana are like I'm, I'm like everyone else, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then I realized, oh, you're chocolate. This person's caramel. Mm. This person's <laughs> this one is Caucasian. This one is Irish red. Yeah. So it really depends. It depends on the context of, of the culture. Like the same way, there's some Indians who are light, light, light. light, and light where they're from, they right. consider dark. They're right. And all so that. It, it really depends. Yeah. It really does depend. Yeah. It really does depend. <sighs> I've got the next topic for you, ladies. But just take a sip of your. I need something stronger. I need something. Mm. I don't know. Girl, let me just something stronger. Right now. <laughs>